Hey you guys, it's me, Valinda. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm the face behind Arlo and Arrows. So today I wanted to create a video to show you guys some of the products I have online. Um, not only show you guys these products, but kind of help you figure out some ways to wear them with your clothes. Believe it or not, a common concern among many customers is that they love the trendiest pieces, but they just can't figure out how to match it up with their clothes. So I'm going to give you some ideas, um, and then I will make two big announcements after I show you guys these pieces. So, let's get started. Oh, also, this is not a Facebook Live video because I'm using a different camera because I wanted to give you guys the clearest picture possible. One thing I've learned so far is it's also really hard to show the detail of jewelry because it's so small in a photo. Um, so video, I think, is really going to help. Also, one other thing, if you go online and you see a product that you think you may like but you're not sure because you're only seeing the photo of it, just purchase it. Um, I offer free returns, so if you get it in your hands and you realize that you're not happy with it, I will gladly take it back. Okay, so here we go. The first necklace I am going to show you guys today is the one I'm wearing. Um, this is a choker style necklace and it has the little pearls on it. Sorry. <laughs> it's that long. Um, the choker trend this summer I am obsessed with. Okay. Someone finally got smart and realized that they needed to make the choker style in a different way because one choker doesn't fit everyone's neck. Um, a lot of customers say a choker either doesn't fit them or it's not comfortable. So with this necklace, the style, it's literally one big long necklace. Here, I will show you one I'm not wearing. So see this? It's one long necklace. So the awesome part about this is you wear it to however you want um, and whatever is comfortable for you. So today I put this one on and I wanted the choker to be in the middle of my neck. So I tied it that way um, and I wanted a bow. So I created a bow. But there's many ways you can wear this. Um, Another cute way to wear it is just without a bow. So if you're not a bow kind of person, it just looks like that. Um, you could actually tie this knot, like maybe more towards the middle of your neck. Just make it a little fun. You can twist this long necklace around your neck multiple times if you wanted to, to give it, you know, a more dramatic look around your neck versus hanging down. You can make it a little bit looser so you don't want your choker up that much. You can kind of give it more just a plain collar necklace look. I mean there's seriously multiple ways to wear this type of necklace. So it truly is one of my favorites because of how versatile it is for everyone. So I have this one online. Um, I also have a really fun arrowhead. Okay, so let me show you up close. It's an arrowhead with some metal coiled around it. Um, I have a gray one, and then I also have a brown one. Um, for locals, this is obviously fun for FSU games. Um, another style I have is this tassel one. This is like a maroon red. Very classy. And I have this style in the maroon red. And then I also have it in a beige. Okay. So I have more styles online, but I wanted to at least show you guys a few of them so that you get the idea. And I'm going to take this necklace off um, so that I can show you guys my other necklaces. These necklaces, I would say, are wonderful to wear with anything that isn't busy up here on your neck. Because the necklace itself is really busy, so you don't want to create, you know, 
something that looks contradicting. So like with me, this necklace is perfect for me today because I'm wearing this solid top. Everything is solid. When you put that on, it stands out. Um, so you probably don't want to wear one of those necklaces with, say, a shirt that has buttons on it. Um, it would look great with a solid dress, a v-neck. Just think solid here because your necklace is what is going to make your outfit. Okay, so let's move on. My uh, second favorite summer trend in jewelry, I would say, is the Y necklace. Um, if you don't know the lingo to that, I'm sure you've seen the necklace, but it looks like this. And it's literally, it looks like a Y. Okay, so the reason I like this necklace is because of a really fun way you can wear it. I like to have this type of necklace literally peeking through. So I would not leave, it, it looks great if you leave it outside of your clothes like this, but to give a really fun illusion, you wear either a button up or a v-neck and you leave half of it hidden. Do you see how fun that looks? So I would say this is why um, the Y necklace is one of my favorites. This particular one I have in my hand is called Love Line, and I have it in gold, and I have it in rose gold. Okay, so we've got that. Um, the other trend, which this was trending last year also, is your tassels. Um, I think this year they've added more fun to the tassels, and they've, they're doing a lot more fabric and things like that instead of metal. So here's one really fun tassel necklace I have online. And, you know, these are just long necklaces, so I feel like they really look good with pretty much anything. Again, though, if you're wearing a really dramatic necklace and long, you probably don't want to wear it with, like, a button-up shirt. Um, here are, here is one fabric tassel necklace I have online, and it's got some really pretty beads on the chain. Those are fun, soft, gives more of a classy um, look to it I would say. Here's another one that's a little bit similar but it's got more color to it and then it's got these little beads on the chain. Okay so those are fun. Um, if you guys haven't seen yet I do have the natural stone necklaces. The natural stone is still in. It's been in for a really long time. Um, here you go. See how fun these natural stones are? They are gorgeous. And I have this necklace in black and then I have a really pretty purple and I've seen purple a lot lately actually too. And then I have just like a pure white. And again, these pretty much match almost anything. Just make sure wherever your necklace lays, it's not super busy there. Pattern is okay though. You just got to make sure your pattern matches up to, you know, the style of your necklace. All right. Another fun necklace I have is this. This is more of a classic, you wear to work every day kind of necklace. Here we go. But, something really cool about this necklace is you see all the strands. Once again, this is just one long necklace. It's literally taller than me. <laughs> um, I have this in black. And I have it in a really pretty gray. Okay, so there's those necklaces. Once again, tie it however you want, how many ever times you want. It's very versatile. Uh, let's see. I have a heart necklace from a company called Zenzi. Zenzi is a designer out of Atlanta, Georgia. 
They have beautiful pieces. I will be ordering more of their pieces very soon. This is one piece. Um, all their jewelry is also hypo, hypoallergenic. So if you have sensitive skin, their pieces are perfect for you. This is a heart locker, and if you don't remember, I mean, this was totally a trend years ago. There you go. Um, you'd be amazed. People love this necklace, love this necklace. It always sells out. It's also great for a little girl, birthday gift, things like that. Two other Zenzi necklaces I have are more of a statement. This is my Jade Bib necklace. It's all beaded. And because these are dramatic, also with your statement pieces, you know, this is more like a, a little black dress type. Make sure, again, that your neckline is not busy. So there's your Jade. Really fun. Hypoallergenic again. And then I have, it's like a violet gray, I'd say, and it's matte, which is really fun. So there's no shine to it. So the matte one is really nice if you have on a pair of jeans and a tank and you just want to dress it up. Just throw this necklace on, it's perfect. There you go. Give you a closer look. See how the beads are matte? Awesome. Okay, so those are some necklaces I have and some ideas of how to wear them. Um, if you have any questions or you like a particular one and you want more detail of what to wear it with before you purchase it, send me an email. My information is on my website and I will gladly email you back to help you. I am going to show you, let me see, I thought I had, yes, three bracelets that I have right now just because they're fun. Um, I have a natural stone bracelet. I think I have about three of these left. So if you want one, you probably want to grab it soon. So there's that. I have this fun, unique piece from Sensi. Um, so it looks kind of weird, right, when you're just holding it, but then you put it on, and it's flat metal, so it really kind of just fits flat on your body, and there's something really nice about jewelry like this. I don't know, it kind of gives some fun appearance to it. So you could actually wear this, you know, low, or you could wear it high. And this is, a, this is like a fun night out. If you don't want to wear a dress or, you know, you want to dress up your outfit, jeans and a shirt and this, and I tell you, your bracelet will be everything. So there's that. Um, here is this a small gold bracelet. It's one of those minimal pieces, which minimal, you know, jewelry that's very thin is in right now too. And I will tell you, I will be ordering more of that this coming week. So if you're that kind of person where you don't want much of a statement, check me out next week and I'll have more stuff. Just plain, simple. Uh, this bracelet is really good for stacking too if you want to match it up with anything else. And then, just to kind of throw it in and mix it up a little bit, I have this really fun headpiece. Let me try to change my camera around a little bit so that you can see it. Or here we go. So this is a feather headband. All right. So once again, if you're an FSU fan, you probably want to grab this for our football season. But the cool thing about this headpiece is it goes behind your head instead of in front. Okay. So here we are. That. And it just kind of peeks through on the sides. And even if you want to wear your hair maybe like in a, um, a bun, it's fun. All right, so there's that headpiece for you. So those are the pieces that I wanted to feature today. Um, 
You know, as you know, this is my second video and I'm trying to figure out my way around it, but I hope that you guys maybe got a better idea of some pieces you've seen online that maybe you liked and you just didn't know how to wear it or you couldn't really see the detail of it. There you are. Um, all of these pieces are available now and we have a 30% off sell going on right now. It's 30% off your entire order. So if you saw anything that you liked today, make sure you go online and grab it. Um, so now I will let you guys know my two announcements. My first announcement is I have another huge bourbon and bow ties order coming in next week. And bourbon and bow ties sells really, really fast. So I think with this next order, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Facebook Live video and I will do a sell through it. So it will be on a first come first serve basis. So watch out for the event invite coming up shortly on my page. And if you are interested, make sure you attend that video. And my second announcement is that I have decided to bring on more designers on my website. Um, and with Arlo and Arrows. And one designer I'm bringing on is Panacea Jewelry. Uh, Panacea is in Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Dillard's. Beautiful stuff. They actually are the designer that I'll be bringing a lot of minimal pieces on my website for. So watch out for that too. Um, I would say that that is it for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to email me. Um, if you need more styling advice or if you want to see something online that simply is a photo and I didn't feature it in my video, just shoot me an email. I will contact you directly and I will send you pictures, videos, whatever it is you need. Thank you guys. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend and happy 4th of July. Bye.